Howdy folks and welcome to the Hillbilly Kitchen. Today we're making a super easy, absolutely delicious two ingredient strawberry cake. If you watch the lemon bars, this is exactly like the lemon bars. You need an angel food cake or sponge cake or whatever it goes by in your store and a can of strawberry pie filling. And it's obviously almost Valentine's Day. And I found these adorable little pans um, at the Dollar Tree they make it super easy to make it super pretty and if you have a wedding shower coming up maybe sometime this spring run over there and get you some of these because you can make easy desserts in them for a wedding shower or just serve stuff in them and they're colored and everything so grab you a few of them save you a ton, ton of time and make things pretty too all right, we're going to start by spraying our pan and turning our oven on 350 degrees because you do want to preheat your oven. Now, if you don't have one of these super cute little heart-shaped pans, you want a 9x13 pan. And I do have a 9x13 pan of these already in the oven. It's going to foam up and rise up. So another tip is you want a big bowl to mix it in make sure you have a good size bowl way bigger than the cake mix and the pie filling because once it starts foaming it's going to come out of your bowl all over your countertop and it is just so easy all you do is dump out your cake mix and your pie filling in a big bowl and mix them up and then we're going to put them in that 350 degree oven any brands at all will work and I know folks are going to ask me, can I do it without the canned pie filling? I have not tried it, but since Angel Food Cake only requires that you add water to it, it has everything else in it, I am certain that if you took a pound of strawberries and cut those up, soaked them overnight in just a few tablespoons of sugar to get some liquid out of them, that that would work and it would maybe even be better than this. But like I said, I haven't tried it. I'm certain it would work though because all you have to add to your angel food cake mix is water. Now, as we start mixing this, you're gonna notice it's gonna instantly start foaming. Because it's Valentine's Day right now, you can get um, strawberries on sale. So it would probably even be cheaper to use a pint of fresh strawberries than the strawberry pie filling. These would be a really good dessert for Mother's Day. Um, like I said, all of those spring wedding showers, baby showers, or maybe just a get together with your friends and have coffee or tea on the porch because the weather's gonna start warming up here because they are so easy. I mean, it literally just takes a minute to mix up this cake. And you can serve it just like this. I mean, you know, you don't have to put anything with it. But if you want to take a strawberry shortcake to the next level, mix up one of these and put fresh strawberries and whipped cream on it and make a strawberry shortcake. Yeah, I got it all mixed up. I thought I did. But you can see how much that foamed up. You don't want a little bowl. <laughs> And you don't want a little pan because it's going to continue to rise up. And then, of course, it'll fall down a little bit after we take it out of the oven. But you don't want it boiling over in your oven. And normally, I always sit these pans on a cookie sheet because the aluminum pans are kind of thin and they don't bake super even because they're so thin. A thicker pan bakes more even. So if you're using the disposable pans to take it somewhere, sit it on a cookie sheet and it'll bake much more even. And this would be a really good dessert if you have a Wednesday night Bible study because Wednesday night's Valentine's Day. You could make this and take it to Wednesday night Bible study and share it with your Bible study group. Or if you're getting together with some friends or maybe take it to work with you to the office on Wednesday and share it with folks. But it's that easy. Just put it in the oven for 30, 35 minutes until it's done. I mean, all ovens vary a little bit, 350. And you know, when it's done, that's it. Okay, now when it's done, it's gonna look like this. It'll still be kind of jiggly, so be careful when you sit it down. 
but it should be brown and it should be cracking and it should spring back and as we sit here and watch it it is going to fall down a little bit you know like i said that's it you can serve it just like that you can sprinkle a little powdered sugar on it you could drizzle it with some buttercream or just some glaze like the powdered sugar glaze with a little vanilla and milk uh but next level strawberry shortcake right here use this for your strawberry shortcake base i hope you save this i hope you try it and i hope that you join us on valentine's day valentine's day 2024 is a very special day for the hillbilly kitchen and we're going to be doing a live we did a poll and the times are pretty much even <laughs> for what time to do it so i think what we're going to do is we're going to try to go live about 6 30 on wednesday evening 6 30 eastern time and we'll do it until everybody gets bored <laughs> But it is a special day for us, and we want to share our special day with you. We want to share our celebration with you. So if you can join us on Wednesday evening, 2024, Valentine's Day, 6.30ish uh, Eastern Time, we'll be live streaming, and we'll tell you what our special event is. Baby showers, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, just spring get-togethers. This is a good one. Keep it. It's delicious. Because it's Valentine's Day, I want to leave you with 1 John 4:18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. Whatever it is that is keeping you from your peace and your happiness, you can find perfect love in Jesus Christ, our Savior. And whatever it is that you're looking for he'll fill that void so my prayer for you is this valentine's day you all find perfect love without fear and in the peace that comes in knowing jesus christ i want to thank you so much for joining us the hillbilly kitchen I want to thank you for being a part of this incredible journey. And I want to ask that you please click like and subscribe if you haven't already and share our videos with your friends. Until next time, remember to put God first.